I'm glad I can share this uh, devotional with you today. You may not know that this is a day in the church calendar called Ascension Day. It's a day that the church remembers that Jesus ascended on high. Of course, uh, he lived on this earth for some 30, 33 years, uh, then um, was crucified, resurrected from the dead. But 40 days after his resurrection, uh, the scripture tells us that he ascended on high. And that's actually rather significant, even though most of us probably don't even know that it's Ascension Day or have uh, even heard of Ascension Day. Let me read the passage of scripture from you, for you from Acts chapter 1, where the disciples are with the resurrected Jesus, and they're with him and asking, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? They were wondering whether now was going to be the time that Jesus was going to reign on this earth. But then Jesus does this. He says, it's not for you to know times or seasons that the Father is fixed by his own authority. Meaning there will be a time when he reigns on earth, but it's not for us to know when that will be. But then he says, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Telling the disciples that you're to be about the mission of spreading the good news, which they have been, and which we are still doing, spreading the good news not only here where we are, but in all corners of the earth. But then comes the ascension, which happens immediately after Acts 1.8. And when he had said this, these things, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. And while they were gazing into heaven as he went, behold, two men stood by them in white robes and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. If you can imagine the scene, there's uh, just a question and answer that uh, happens between uh, disciples and uh, the resurrected Jesus. But then all of a sudden, uh, he uh, is raised up and he ascends all the way up into heaven. It would be amazing just even speaking to somebody with a resurrected body. And it would be natural, of course, for the disciples to say, Oh, the kingdom must be coming, for here is the resurrected Lord. But what he does next is he ascends on high, and these men come afterwards and tell the disciples that Jesus will come again. As he ascended on high, so he will also return again. Now, this has a number of implications for us. It has a number of implications in that Jesus' physical body is not here on this earth. He's not with us physically as he was uh, some 2,000 years ago. But by the fact that he raised from the dead and that he ascended on high, which nobody else has ever done that, let alone raise themselves uh, from the dead, but now to ascend on high, it tells us that his divinity and his majesty and his grace and spirit are still very active in this world. And we know from the other things that he has said is that he is always present with us in his divinity, not in his physical aspect, but by his divinity. And because he ascended, he will come again. If he goes up, he will also come down. And he will also come and make this world right. So Ascension Day really has a lot to tell us about the sovereignty of God. It tells us of his sovereign strength that can raise Jesus from the dead and also raise him into heaven. And it also tells us that he will return from heaven in the future. This is just yet again another witness to the sovereign strength of our Lord who can bring things to pass when he wants. He creates this world. He sends his son. He raises him from the dead. Now he raises him on high. And if he does all of these things, brothers and sisters, he is still sovereignly in control. I know things seem a little bit out of control right now in the time of the coronavirus and the time of uh, uh, shutdowns and all, but God is still on his throne, and one of the witnesses to it is that Jesus has been raised from the dead and has ascended to be seated at the right hand of God right now, and it gives us extra assurance of his sovereignty today. I hope you'll thank the, uh, our Lord for his sovereignty and also take comfort in the time of uh, seemingly uh, many things uh, thrown up in the air, that God is still on his throne and our Jesus is still in control and he will come again. May God bless you today.